What's up, guys? It's me, Nancy's Journey. Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Nancy. Yeah. A little like promo, okay? All right, three, two, one. What's up, guys? My name is Nancy, and this is my journey. I started my journey a long time ago. <laughs> I started my journey like three years ago. Um, I started because there was a time in my life where I was super unfocused on myself and more focused on um, everybody else and everything else in my life except my health. And so when I started, I just wanted to do what I was wanting to do my whole life, which is lose weight. Um, I've been overweight since I was young, when I was in elementary, high school, like I was always the heaviest kid and, and I just was tired of it. So finally dedicated myself to start my journey. Okay, so at, so um, okay, so first I gotta get ready to go to the gym, and that alone is so freaking like, like you ever just like you're home, you're chilling, you're like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym right now, you know? That's me every day. But then I put on some jams, and then I get ready, and then I I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go, whatever. So I go to the gym. And I take my pre-workout out, and I do my little, put on my, my favorite songs at the moment. It could be like some Latin music, it could be some like, I don't know, Cardi B, it could be like whatever. And I just jam, and I take my pre-workout, let it sink in, and then I get a workout in, and I start my workout every time. Super pumped, super excited, dancing, and mentally ready to work out. She, Ariana Grande right now is my jam. Like her whole Thank You Next album is amazing. CNCO, you know, they fine. <laughs> so I love their music. And then um, Post Malone always. Billie Eilish. What's it like Billie Eilish? Dude, she's so, like, she's so nice. I don't know. It was just kind of weird, though, because I just felt, like, old. <laughs> no, she was so cool. Like, she was just super sweet, and, like, I showed her that I was her for Halloween, and she was like, oh, shit. <laughs> My favorite places to eat are Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A when I'm trying to be healthy, also Chick-fil-A when I'm not trying to be healthy. <laughs> and then, um... Where else? I don't know. Oh, Chipotle. It's like it. That's all I eat because there's nothing else. Oh, you know what? There's this new pizza place that has cauliflower pizza. It is so bomb. Pyology. Lit. So good. Cauliflower pizza. Yes. So, photonomy supplements are my go-to supplements. I love the pre-workout. The protein, the BCAAs, those are all my favorite. I use them for protein intake, to up my protein intake, or um, just for energy. Well, actually, um, when I start my day, I like to take some burners. They're not necessarily like to lose weight, but they do have some energy in them and some vitamins. So I like to take my burners in the morning, get some energy, and then, um, I don't have my protein shake till later in the day, so I guess I would take my pre-workout and then my protein shake after my workout. Ooh, I've tried um, so many gyms. Um, the Mecca, like number one, it was so cool to go to. Um, in Venice? Yeah, in Venice, California. And then uh, that was just really fun. I had never like, seen so many bodybuilders in one spot. It was amazing. <laughs> and then, um, 
Like, I love my gold sim, like, here in the Callan. Like, I love gold sim. And RGB Fitness, probably. Yeah, <laughs> Gold's Gym, The Mecca, Venice, and then I guess just Gold's Gym, I don't know. Lithium's dope. I don't know, I love all, Gentry! What the heck, Gentry is like so dope. I love Gentry. I wanna go back like all the time, but it's so fun. There's the, it's so dope to have a gym like that in the valley. It's like, I wanna be part of their club, but I'm not, <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, they're too far. Shit. Yeah. Um, sometimes I just try and, I mean, most of the time it's like people were just rude, like to be mean or just to, like, to, just to be mean. I, I try to just move on from it, delete it, block them, and once I, block them, then I know that one person is never gonna bother me again. So, yeah, I don't know. I just try to ignore it. Um, but constructive criticism is different too. Sometimes I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should be, you know, changing things up or, cause I, I get it, you know? People follow me and they don't see results, but like, it's not their journey, it's mine. So if they're impatient with, my results then they can be impatient but like it's my life and they don't know what i'm going through and they don't know that um that i have things going on in my personal life like i don't share everything the fitness industry there's so many people telling you what you're supposed to be doing whether it be this or that or make sure to lift make sure to do cardio make sure to do crossfit make sure to do like it doesn't matter. Like it really, none of it matters. Like what matters is that you do what's best for you and you do what you love because you're not gonna stick with it if you do something you don't like. That's not how I am. Like I just wanna go out there and do what I want. Do It's my journey, you know, like do what it makes me comfortable. Uh, maybe one week I'll be doing Zumba. Maybe one week I'll be doing cardio uh, on the stairs. Maybe one week I'll be doing CrossFit. Who knows, I don't care. Like I'm just gonna keep going, so. Yeah, it just depends what I want. So I think if you look at the fitness industry, just forget about it and just do you. Like so many times where I've just felt like I'm failing at this. So many times where I just feel like I want to give up or like there's so many times in this journey where I'm just like, Dude, is this worth it? Like, I'm so tired. I'm like not seeing the results or I'm not doing my best. And I like, I'm like probably the one person who's like hardest on myself. Like having the support online is crazy because they make me not want to give up. But the hardships are there <laughs> and they're hard <laughs> and they're frustrating, but I get through them. I think after that, after that whole experience, um, just having like someone let you down, like I like had other moments where the same thing happened and like, it like, it like, it broke me once, right? And then I tried to get better and I was like, kind of getting better. And then somebody broke me again. It's like, I, I give so much power to people. Um, and like how I feel and like things that happen in my personal life like really affect me in my journey like so much. And so if it goes from, from having someone let you down or like being depressed about it or like having so many emotions that you like don't even know how to handle them and like um, just having or like having moments where like your family like is going through something and you can't like be 20 places at once. Like it's so frustrating to like, to not be able to like be there for yourself and be there for someone else and be there for this person too. It's like, if I'm okay, then I will be able to provide that for somebody else, if that makes sense. Like, like a family member or um, like in particular, like my grandma, like, 
I'm, she's not gonna have all of me if I'm not all there. You know, if I'm, if I'm frustrated because I didn't get a workout in or I didn't do this, like I have to, I have to have me time too. And like, I'm learning that as well with other things in my life. And it's just the whole learning process. I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> Do so many good things come from social media. Like, if you just forget the 2% of people who are rude to you and you focus on the 98% of people who are just amazing, you're gonna have such a great time on social media. <laughs> like, um, I find myself just scrolling through comments and just feeling so happy that people are just truly supportive of me and truly wanting to see me grow and be um, like be the best that I can be so I love social media because there's amazing people on there I've I've met like friends that live in Chicago like my friend Claudia I've met like so many different people just through social media alone like like I can I could never say before oh I have some friends in California I have some friends in Canada I have some friends in like I don't know, New York, like it's insane. It's, it's awesome. So I love social media for that reason. Um, starting is always the hardest part. Like starting is difficult. It's not easy because you're going from living an unhealthy life to living like the best that you can and being as healthy as you can. and. It's not easy, but like, just start, start. And then once you start seeing results, like you're not gonna wanna stop. I would tell myself to have patience because it's gonna be a long ride. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, girl. So hold on and don't give up on yourself because a lot of things are gonna happen, a lot of moments you're gonna feel so weak and you're gonna feel like you're not gonna get through it but you are so hold on and you're gonna get there yeah so 2019 i truly believe is my year like i just hope and pray i don't have too many uh moments where i get weak or whatever but i do believe that I'm gonna do the best that I can this year. Um, and that's all that matters to me is just trying my best and, and hopefully uh, reaching more of my goals and traveling more and have, making more friends and just living life happily. I know, there's good stuff too, guys. I, I'm not always struggling, shit. I mean, I kind of am, though. <laughs> okay, there's like nothing. Mic check, mic check. Hey! That's dope! I, who thought of that? <laughs> oh my god, it was me! <laughs> <laughs>